all right so i was randomly on pinterest then i came across this particular design and also this and i felt like um there are many of you including you at the sound of my voice right now who would love to actually learn uh, who might love to actually learn um how to create something like this now this design is a very simple design but it's passing across a very interesting message right a kind of message that um you might want to also pass across or you might need to pass across in any of your designs so i want to show you how to recreate something like this in pixel lab very very simple right so it's also the same thing something similar is also what is playing out here and um something similar is also what is playing out here can you see so you can see that there are times where you might need to also can you see something similar is also what is playing out here look at that and it's actually quite simple to um create so i'm just going to create that quickly so i'm going to um download this first um now let me just say this none of these designs that i just showed you are mine so none of those designs i showed you just now are mine i'm just trying to use them to actually teach you so this is um downloaded already and then i come to my pixel lab right so um sorry first of all we want to work with the um with just a very very um empty workspace right like you can see here then the next thing you have to do is to i mean you can work on your background depending on what you want to achieve right then the next thing is to click on your shape this is quite simple to create though but then this is for those who might still be struggling with it so we have um this i made the radius of that rectangle just pay attention to my crystal i made the radius of that rectangle a bit curved and so we have this so i'm going to mark this i'm going to position this to the center and then position it to the center i'm going to copy this click on edit and i'm going to um just i'm going to just reduce the size a bit but right? i'm going to reduce the size a bit just a bit and then we have this then you can send this to back so we're going to reduce the opacity of this a bit right can you see what i just did can you see that this is beginning to take shape then i'm going to copy this to this one i'm going to click on edit i'm going to reduce the size a bit more right i'm going to reduce the size a bit more then i'm going to mark it i'm going to send this to back and i'm going to um take this up right just a bit more too and uh, we can push this up a bit right so i'm coming because i want to i want to achieve exactly what they uh what they achieved okay 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 now we can actually you can actually use this particular method i use but the reason why we may not be able to use this method is simple if you look at this particular part you realize that due to the fact that we reduce the opacity of this um due to the fact that we reduce the due to the fact that we reduce the opacity of this you can see that this particular shape at the back is now um showing forward so all we have to do is quite simple just um look at it just um screenshot it and then increase the opacity sorry increase the opacity back up right then click on import bring in the screenshots you see what we're about to do now then click on this particular image you can click on edit right you can click on edit you can click click on edit and then change the color or you can just change the color from here right click on plus tap on this right you want to pick the color from here so you can come here look at that and then you can just pick this can you see you can just pick this so we have mark it okay and this is what we have right now you can click on this and then you can click on okay you can go to color rather click on plus and then you can just um make this brighter a bit more all right something like this something like this so this is what we have here then you can even you can even make this come here click on plus and then you can just just adjust this a bit so we have this right then you can click on this the opposite of this should be up 
also but then you go to the color go to the color tap or you can now use this look at that so you can see that what i'm just changing there is just adjusting the um the tints right yeah it's tints i'm kind of reducing the tints i'm re i'm reducing the white that's what that means right so um let's check out the original image right so this is the original image here and then um i mean from there you can actually see what's happening so your own can be more than three i mean my year is just three and then um this year is also three and also you can also adjust your curve right it actually depends on your own preference at that point so you can actually adjust your curve here your radius that's what i mean you can um you can add maybe five more one two three four five only that whatever you're adding to this first i will actually advise that you also add that to the other um other two shapes or more shapes depending on the number of shapes that you're using so um six seven so let's use seven then that means i have to one two three four five six seven right then the last one to one two that's 19. i right, look at 19. so now this is it for the last one so um we have this sorry go to the color again and then um, this is what we have and actually you can actually move this some a bit more mark it then go to color click on plus yeah you can actually reduce this a bit more and then this what we have All right oh uh, you can actually even um sorry come to color click on plus you can reduce this a bit more you can actually um increase the shades this is shades right increase it a bit more so that it will um, reflect as if there's shadow right you can just adjust it until you get what you are looking for so this is it and then if i want another smaller one you can just copy it click on edit reduce the size and um, bring this down and reduce the size a bit more and send this to back right then you can go to colors click on plus adjust this click on this and then you can also reduce this a bit more a bit more and then this is what we have so i can move this up a bit and then this is what we have here right so i can decide to not add shadows it's quite simple to add shadows you just go to your um you can use your draw right go to draw click on black right and then increase the pen size increase your blur radius and just tap anywhere on the screen mark it and then you can compress this you can increase the size you can um, compress this some more you can now move this here right and then you can now reduce look at it you can actually reduce the opacity so that you have something like this you can come to the background so that it's more visible you can come to the background here look at it and then you can just uh, make the background a bit more brighter look at it can you see this is this is nice if you ask me so this is actually cool then we can increase the size and then this is what we have yep so if i if i hide this now can you see this is what we have here so look at the original image here look at the original um design here so you can decide to uh, um, increase this more if you need to adjust the shadows and still reduce the opacity if necessary right and then you can now include all your other text in the design and then we are good let me know what you think about this in the comment and you can also join my community right you can join my telegram community um through the link that will be in the description box um below in that community you can actually uh, if there's any design that you want to learn how you can actually replicate or if there's any part of any design that you want to learn how to replicate in in pixel lab um yeah you can just drop it in that community too
ao 